Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I figured I'd put out a video, just give you a general update and my thoughts on the different things that are going on. Again, guys, there's not a whole lot that I'm going to say that I haven't already said. Uh, this is shaping up, uh, shaping up perfectly for the end of the petrodollar in my personal opinion. I'm not saying that to be insensitive to what's going on. Uh, it's very unfortunate. And there's a lot of things going on right now that are very unfortunate and that's going to continue. Guys, I mean, people, people are gonna die, okay? People are gonna die because of homelessness, because they're broke, they can't afford food, because of lack of health care, because of war, because of tons of different things. Suicide, overdose, okay? A lot of people are gonna die, guys. There's no way to completely change the financial system and in general, implement a new internet. There's no way to do this on the fly without there being mass collateral damage. It, it's just not possible. So, I mean, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be bad for a lot of people. I'm not trying to be insensitive to that, but the point that I'm trying to make is that for us as individuals, all we can really do is inform ourselves on what's happening and prepare the best that we can. And so that that's what I'm doing. And, you know, guys, I got, you know, two parents and a grandparent that, you know, if I'm, if I don't do what I need to do to come out of this on the other end, you know, it, they're going to be they're going to be wrecked you know I, I mean they're they're all on fixed incomes and, and so guys there's a lot of other implications here and the main point that i want to really relay is that nobody really knows how this is going to turn out nobody knows how bad things are going to get and i think it's just important that everybody understand the severity of the world event that we're living through right now and do what you need to do to prepare for yourself and the other people that you know in your family or close friends that you kind of help out with. So that's that. Okay, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You know, guys, make your own decisions, do your own research, make decisions that you are comfortable with. And, but also, you know, make decisions when you are clear headed and can see everything objectively. I don't share what I do with my own funds and my own portfolio to tell you to do the same thing. You can do the exact opposite, all right? I do this for full transparency because there's almost no transparency in the in space, all right? Okay, so make your own decisions, all right? Um, let's start with the things happening with Russia. Okay, sanctions are being put on them. They're not being moved off of the SWIFT system yet, but there are financial sanctions being imposed. I saw a report come out this morning, I have to verify this, that India is working with Russia on some workaround uh, for oil purchases with the US dollar. And I included India in the group of countries that were working with Russia, you know, months and months ago, talking about the implications here for the petrodollar. If you go back and you watch the video, The Black Swan for the Global Economy, and it has Russia and it has Putin and Xi shaking hands on the front of the video, I actually attach it in, uh, in the description section. You know, I go over the implications. I mean, I've been over the petrodollar situation. I've almost beat it to death, guys, because it's such a big deal. And, and I haven't been the only one. You know, I, back when I orig originally did that video, it was based off of Economic Ninja. He was reporting on it initially. And as soon as I saw the reports coming out from him and I saw that it was sourced by mainstream media sources, I was like, okay, this is a really big deal. And this is highlighting something to come moving forward. So there's been a lot of other people that have been on this. And on top, I'm not the only one saying this, guys. Okay, Mark Moss just did a video two days ago about how a conflict with Russia could be the end of the dollar. And it all boils back down to the petrodollar and oil purchases in the Middle East and in Russia. So that's that. Okay. So sanctions are being put on Russia. Understand that Russia has an agreement with the Saudis. I mean, if you're looking at the top oil producers, Russia, the Saudis, the US, and a couple other countries, but I mean, they're all up there for like the top five to 10, you know, producers of energy in the world. And the fact that Russia already has an alignment with the Saudis and with India and with China is, I mean, in my opinion, this is setting up to be the end of the petrodollar. Now, I might be wrong about that. Uh, it might be something else, but that's what it's looking like right now. And again, I'm not the only one saying this. So this also gives this also gives the Fed a green light to print into infinity and central bankers around the world, and it takes all of the attention off of them. 
So just understand that as well. Guys, I think inflation, I mean, gas was $3 here weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, and it's at $3.50 now. And it, it could very easily go up in just in the next couple days. That's going to affect all other assets. It's going to affect all prices of everything, prices of food, prices of everything. Every, the price of everything is going up. Um, and it's probably going to continue to go up until some event happens that you know blows this bubble. But I mean, if you look at what happened with the stock market, it dropped heavy and look at what happened. It, it rebounded right back. I mean, the Fed and I went against Gregory Manorino and, and guys, you know, if I could suggest anything, I would just say, you know, find people online who are telling the truth and to the best of their ability. I mean, not, not saying telling the truth to the best of their ability, telling the truth and then speculating on what it possibly means. And that is to the best of their ability because everybody is speculating at this point, okay? Everything that we hear is lies. So you just have to look at all the information that's out there and try to make sense of it the best that you can. But you know, I mean, I, I listen to a lot of other people and I agree with them on certain things and disagree with them on others. Economic Ninja is one of those. Uh, Gregory Manorino is one of those. AMTV is one of those, right? I, I agree with them on a lot of things. I heavily disagree with them on a lot of things. But just try to find people that are being honest and open about the situation that we're currently living through. And you don't find specific examples of them saying certain things that you know that can be easily proven false. I mean, because there's a lot of people that are just going to push false narratives and that are going to just lead people down, you know, rabbit holes that have you know no ending and they're just it's just they're they either have no idea what they're talking about or they're intentionally misleading you so try to find people on youtube on whatever that are telling the truth about what's actually happening okay uh fed's got a green light inflation's going much much higher um but you notice and this was a cnbc article that came out like last night that said you know bitcoin you know bitcoiners are are doing a fundraising for ukraine and they're using this to help you know um, give them additional financial aid and this and that and the other. So that was a headline from CNBC. At the same time, Russia is moving forward with Bitcoin and crypto, crypto regulation as they're being sanctioned by numerous other countries all around the world. So we're seeing both countries more or less turn to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in some shape, form or fashion. And we know the situation that already, you know, Russia already had, I mean, Ukraine already has, um, you know, they, they partnered with Stellar for going back years. And Stellar, Stellar actually issued a statement yesterday about Ukraine. Um, and Stellar is an advisor and a member on the board of uh, the Ukrainian Association of Banks. So we know that, that that's out there also. Uh, Russia, Russia uh, legislation moving forward with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to any and all sanctions that are happening, financial sanctions that are happening on Russia and what they're going to do as a response to that and other countries that Russia is working with in regards to oil purchases. Pay attention to those things. Uh, we have states in the United States moving forward with Bitcoin legislation right now, guys. This could escalate very quickly over the next four to five weeks, especially as inflation gets out of control. A lot of these governors and a lot of these state senators may be pushing forward Bitcoin legislation. I think that we could see Bitcoin as being legal tender in a number of different states over the next six months. Again, I'm not trying to be insensitive to what's going on, guys. I just, you know, all we can really do, in my personal opinion, is prepare ourselves and make sure that, you know, we're doing what we need to do on our end to come out of this the other side, not being completely destroyed. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of crazy things going on. You know, if you need to unplug, I would suggest doing so, you know, going to the gym, going on a walk, doing whatever, listening to music, whatever you need to do to kind of unplug from the insanity, because it does get a little bit overwhelming at times. But I mean, I can't tell you the amount of peace I have knowing that I've already um, made certain moves and I've already transitioned into the new system as the old system is in a, in a fragile of state as it's ever been in my lifetime. Now, who knows when this is all going to come to an end? Maybe next week. Maybe it might take another year. Who knows? Um, and who even knows what the end is? You know, when, when I say the end of the petrodollar, guys, I don't think that there's going to be just one day where all of a sudden the dollar, it's done. Every, if, if, you, if you're holding dollars, they don't, they're not worth anything anymore, okay? I think it will be, you know, a similar pattern to how other fiat currencies ultimately are phased out. They just continue to inflate away until there's 
nobody else is using them. And the great, well, I'd say the great part, but the, the interesting factor here is in those other situations where fiat currencies collapsed in other countries all around the world throughout history, more times than not, there was never an alternative sitting right there being rapidly adopted um, like we have right now. So as this is currently happening, the life raft, the alternative is sitting right there. Financial institutions are encouraging it. Billionaires are encouraging it. Sports athletes, everybody. Everybody imaginable is going to be coming out and saying buy Bitcoin probably within the next year. You're going to be hearing it on the media. You're going to hear, be hearing it everywhere. It's almost already getting to that point. So yeah, um, that's all I got. That's all I got. So, you know, try not to... Uh, you know, if you need to unplug, unplug. I would say question everything that you hear. You know, look at everything objectively. Um, try not to get too, like, in the moment with any individual things happening and pay attention to the trends that we've been seeing over an extended period of time because the likelihood is that those are going to continue and isolated incidents are just, you know, certain chess moves that are happening to achieve a particular result. Pay attention to the trends. And the trends have been, we've seen a rapid escalation in the adoption of this new technology and of the transitioning over to the new system. And the market factors globally, and, my, and guys, I'm not talking about the, the spot price and all this other stuff. I have no idea what that's going to do, okay? Bitcoin could shoot up over the next week, and it could also dump back down to 30 k I have absolutely no idea. All I'm saying is that the market factors, all the circumstances that are happening all around the world, in my personal opinion, is a perfect storm for the transition over to the new system, all right? That's just my take on it. If you see it differently, that's perfectly fine. Again, look at this objectively and make decisions that you are comfortable with. If that's something else other than what I'm doing, totally understandable, okay? Everybody's gonna see this differently. Just make the decisions that you feel like are best for you and yourself moving forward. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Take care, have a good day. I will post other videos this weekend. Now that now that things are really you know heating up, I'm, I'm gonna post a couple other videos this weekend just doing general updates. But I mean, you know, guys, my, my position hasn't changed since, you know, since I started the channel. My position has not changed. It's not going to change because those other factors that I'm looking at to really guide my decision-making process, those are only continuing to move in the direction that, you know, we anticipated them to go. So that's that. Uh, take care. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.